Madam Chair, members of the board, my name is Josh Rosenau. I'm a Programs and Policy Director at the National Center for Science Education. Uh, we and our thousands of members, parents, teachers, science, clergy, students, and business leaders watch this adoption with special interest because of the vast influence uh, Texas textbook adoptions have on the national textbook market. It's been my privilege to attend all of the uh, public hearings on the current science teaks, the supplements, and the current textbook adoption. I've examined the biology books, and I urge you to adopt them as they stand. I also stand here on behalf of over 50 professional societies of scientists and educators. Attached to my written testimony, you'll find a message signed by 51 such societies, including the National Academy of Sciences, the nation's premier scientific society, the uh, National Science Teachers Association, the publisher of Science Magazine, and the publisher of Ranger Rick Magazine. These societies represent evolutionary biologists, developmental biologists, geneticists, and scientists studying fossils, plants, mammals, reptiles and amphibians, algae and microbes. They study the human mind, human anatomy and physiology, human genetics, human culture, and human evolution. They study the earth and the stars. The societies include the Society of Economic Geologists, the Council on Undergraduate Research, and the American Society for Pharmacology and Experimental Therapeutics. Their members teach our children about life, our world, and our universe. These societies agree that evolution is the foundation of modern biology and an explanation for the diversity of life on Earth, which has opened up tremendous scientific and technological opportunities. It is central to fields as diverse as agriculture, computer science, engineering, geology, and medicine. The teaching of evolution, and for similar reasons, climate change, should not be undermined in textbooks, whether by minimizing, misrepresenting, or misleadingly singling out as controversial or in need of greater scrutiny than other topics are given. They ask you to set aside claims by reviewers unqualified in the relevant science and say, by adopting textbooks recommended by the top scientists and teachers in Texas, you will give students and teachers a foundation for an exemplary science education, the sort of education that they will need to succeed in the 21st century. I hope that you will consider their message carefully and adopt these excellent textbooks. Thank you. Okay.